Found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trapdoor. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. Place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. There. They blew the locks to get in. Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get him! Watch it. Stay clear! I'll stun him! I got your back! Thanks! I needed that! Trucks full of gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the webs. Guys are all over the road. 
They'll kill someone if I can't stop them. Doing my best to catch up, but you might be on your own. Stay safe, Jeff. Don't do anything crazy. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, six four four seven six. That's your 33. Truck's already left at shift. 
If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage, Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else, but I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked. I can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, no need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. It's a long shot, but sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with an L, I think. Larry's? That's on the east side. Uh, Leo's. Leo's, yeah. That might be it. Man, I love Leo's. I'll pick you up a pie. I owe you one. No worries. Hope you find what you're looking for. Should be some trucks close by. Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. Wow, are getting good. Come on, people. This guy almost was just like Spider-Man. Oh my god! Hey. No sign of my stuff. <laughs> what an interesting smell. Can I get an autograph? Eddie, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. <laughs> There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh, looks like trouble. Thanks, Spider-Man. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey. Mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. There's something there. Gotta move these bags out of the way. I think that's it. Please be 
here, please be here. Yes. Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey, look, an old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work. Look, it's that guy who can see Spider-Man. Uh-oh. Ice him! Say goodnight! Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. All right, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Let's see. Uh, hi, MJ's. Peter. Any chance I could stay over to. Oh, that's too formal. MJ! I was just in the neighborhood and. Oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe. Okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Hmm, someone left me a voicemail. Number's blocked, though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Leslie, come to this address. Catch me if you can. Uh-oh. I think I know that voice. you a lot lately we were good together weren't we maybe it's time to reignite the flame black cat don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob she promised she would give up that life what was she looking at anything look out of place there one of her cats she packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. Better keep an eye out. Hey, Yuri. You still have Black Cat's suit and equipment in the evidence lockup, right? I think 
so. Hi, is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were going to meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. Hey, sorry. What were we talking about? I thought we were going to meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter. I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Well, of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, ma'am. Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. What are you doing here so late? Hope May's couch is comfortable. More explosions and a barrage of gunfire coming from inside the building. After Spider-Man and you. NYPD had moved in, which lasted much longer than police had hoped. However, once things quieted down, it wasn't long before Fisk himself was seen being escorted out of the building. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Man, was I ever a dork. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Mr. Lee's okay. Are you sure you can spare that money? Easily. Working here leaves very little time to spend money, and I'm just fine with that. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. 
See you then. Humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? Thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fist construction. Inside of Midtown. Life would kill me if I ditched a ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> And I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. That's 
It's Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? If that picture gets out, my That angle. Should... Need to get Give it straight on. It gotcha. Nice. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. And I leaked the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Nice clear image. It took you long enough. Get it? Yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Rigo always was a sucker. I'll also be at it. Let's see the plans. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta catch my train. Don't want to keep the boss with me. That's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've gotta follow him. Need to track him from above ground. Where is he getting off? Tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's the Sean, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. Plans, boss. Go. If you're the schedule this morning, I put out hires on the white. Mark their positions on the map. Brother's kid. You can't trust me. 
Anyway, it's done. He's already picking up our sick crew. All right, Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man.